Okay, YouTubers, Smoky Canopy here. And what we got today is a Highlander Jaguar uh, stainless steel bushcraft knife. Bit like the um, Bush Law made by Condor. Uh, about the same price. I think this one was about thirty-five plus postage. Um, I looked around online, got the cheapest, I think, uh, uh, yeah, so, as you can tell, comes with a bright yellow pouch, mm -mm, mustard, my favourite colour, and a really dark handle, well, when mine came, really light handle, and uh, the same colour pouch, so, um, I had a little bit of a play with it, uh, when I got it out of the box, this is the box, by the way, it comes in a gift box and inside uh, there you go, sorry about this it has the cutouts for it in solid foam so if you don't want to you can just leave it in here and give it as a gift and uh, people might just collect them and well I'm going to use mine so sorry about that guys, it's a bit dark there my arm is in the way, there we go, so there you go, there's the cutouts for it I'm using the tripod today, so it should be nice and steady apart from me moving around so, there you go, so the knife fits in and then the sheath and then the fire still so that's the box this is the knife uh, Ray Mears, Wilkinson Sword, or one of the other copies. Uh, I mean, this copy is that kind of style. It's a bushcraft knife, that's what it says on the box. Got quite a large bit there, which I. Uh, it's very thick as well. Really nice back for battening and stuff. You can see how thick she is. She must be about 4, maybe 5 mil across. Yeah, probably four. Matt, not really five. It's got a nice grind. I like it. Stainless steel. Lovely colour. It's got a rosewood handle. To be honest, if you wanted to, you can knock them uh, pins out and replace the scales with anything you wanted to. If you're that way inclined. I reckon it'll look really nice with some curly birch, but um, the rosewood's not bad. And of course it came with that yellow mm -mm. Oh, Don't put the mower in there Came with a yellow sheath Now as you can see It's darker uh, Because I got some It's kicking around here somewhere uh, No it's not here Right as you can see, it's a lot darker, and that's because I sesame seed oiled the pouch. Just got it on my fingers, rubbed it in nice and hard, and then polished it off with a bit of fleece cloth, i.e. the shirt I'm wearing. And then I kept on layering it and layering it, but um, I think it's come out quite nice. Well, you can see it, it's on the way the light again. It's a lot darker. Now the streaks are stretch marks <laughs> when you get the sheath it's machine made and they're done in bulk so it's not made to measure so when you get your knife she doesn't fit she's basically flat so you have to work her in until she fits it's a bit hard to do all this with the light so I'll come over here Right. when you get her she's flat and all this is basically flat so you have to work her in about 30, 40 times, wiggle her around a lot until you get these stretch marks. Same as on here, this was a nightmare getting it in the first time, but now she still holds tight. And I put the land knives on there, and the only reason really is when she's around my neck and I want to hold her, I'm going to pull and I've got extra grip on the lanyard. So I just put some paracord through. You could get some leather thongs or whatever you want. So, it's all good. I think I'll just. Uh, 
yeah so I, I put those on on the back the stitching's a bit untidy but um, I intend to get it restitched in dark brown all the way through kind of the same colour tan actually um, because she'll look nicer as for the redwood on here when I got her she was damaged on one side but you can't really tell with a lanyard in there luckily now but uh, the hassle I had of getting it I don't want to send it back and wait another six months this was white and as I said I've sesame oiled it and it's come up a lot darker it's a nice knife I made a necker for it uh, it goes around the neck quite nice it's a nice weight it's a good knife um, did some little tests with the knife the old paper test Will she cut? Will she? Yeah. Isn't really the greatest paper. I was getting earlier teeny little curls across the top on another piece of paper. But um, we had a little papers in bad condition. This, this, this. See, look. I'm trying to go for the teeny, the slightest curls. See, just the lightest curls. Um, I tried it out earlier actually, she feather sticks lovely. So, um, I've been in the garden all day, clearing some rubbish and burning. So I sat with a Kelly kettle, had a cup of hot chocolate, and then came in and uh, this arrived. So I've been waiting for ages for it, so. Now, I was told that when it came out of the box on a review it was as blunt as and it needed grinding I don't think I need grinding I think a little bit of time on a stone maybe just shop it chin chin a bit more but that will cut it's got a nice colour sheath now now and uh, she's right the studs these uh, are a bit bright I would like to change them out but to be honest I don't want to start taking the pouch apart um, but I am going to change the uh, stitching because I'm not thinking Wild Wild West, you know, bright yellow, a couple of rhinestones maybe. Anyway, that's my review on that knife. She's a nice weight, she's got a nice grind, a good battening edge. On here, she's very square, so when you get your stone, fire to steel, and you put it on there, of course you've taken off the first initial layers, there you go, set fire to the house, uh, now she's got a nice stripe down her back, they always come black don't they, but uh, now she's got a racing stripe. There you go, guys. Um, like I said, she's on the tripod. I can't 100% see whether I'm in bloody focus or not half the time. I will review this now, and if it's any good, I'll post it. If not, bin. So, just a couple of little mods. Now, <coughs> I've got a confession. I've been online on eBay. <laughs> I'm a bit on a Ray Miz original sheath that will fit this and it's dark dark brown it's beautiful so I'm hoping to win and my Mora isn't really much of a difference apart from the height so I'm thinking craft a dangler for it and the Mora should well she's upside down but that doesn't bother me should go in. Like I said, cross the dangler to come up the back and she'll be the same colour all the way through. So there you go, you two. I think I'm more have to be beat around a bit. You have to be careful when you pull out of there because she's sharp. So I would prefer to be holding it there when I'm pulling out or the bottom of. So I may just stick another little bit of a lanyard on the bottom here. So then I've got that bulk behind my hand, so I'm pulling. Because uh, 
Okay, then I will break her in eventually. But there you go. This may be the sheath of the moor in the end. And the rain mares. Uh, it doesn't say rain mares or anything on it. I just like the colour. And it, of course it fits the knife, so. Um. Boom. Oh, it's still there. Get the hole. And. Uh, there you go. You want a cheap knife? Uh, first knife for bushcraft or whatever, if you're not a knife collector or you know, you, you just want something, go for it. I like it. I am going to go for a Pathfinder Scout next for my birthday because it's bigger and it will uh, do a lot more jobs. So I've got my Mora, which I, by the way, turn around as well. I'm not supposed to. No. That's a bit weird going that way, but on the left hander, so I like when I pull my knives, pull them out the way I want them. There you go. I've got my jag, I've got all my other little folders and stuff. Got a Smith and Wesson one coming, uh, which is a tactical uh, emergency one, and I've got uh, hopefully the Pathfinder coming from Dave Canterbury. So, um, there you go, guys. All right, uh, anything you want to know about it, just uh. Leave a message in the box and I shall try and find out stuff for you. Um, Holland's of Cumbria. I'll give them a plug. That's where I got it from. You can find them on the internet. Um, best to phone them up first though and find out what's going on with it and everything. Uh, because mine was out of stock, so I had a bit of a wait. Alright guys, uh, smoke a canopy. Have a good day.